Hello, beautiful goddesses. How are you? It's me, Saima, and I am so excited to go live with you. Uh, whether you're joining me live or watching the replay, to share with you a beautiful transmission on how you can shift from being in warrioress mode to beautiful divine feminine empress mode because this shift will help you to go from high achieving in your life to deep, luscious, natural, magical, divine feminine receiving. So I'm so excited to share with you some beautiful divine feminine guidance and messages. And then at the end, I will lead you through a little meditation. So stick around with me and welcome if you're joining. I'm so happy to have you here. Let me know where you're joining from. It's always so beautiful to connect from goddess with goddesses from all over the world. And please let me know if you're here. I'm inspired to share this, this message with you around this beautiful shift for us women to go from warrior mode, which we may not even realize that we are in, and to come into our empress mode because as i am right now the temple doors are open to join the 2024 round of my goddess mystery school the life-changing awakened goddess training in its sixth round it is a vortex of profound healing transformation and dream manifestations for myself and all the women who get to be a part of this and what I'm noticing a pattern in the applications is so many women being called to join are ready to shift. Hi, Leanne, beautiful, gorgeous alumni here. Um, let me know, Leanne, if I could share the update that you did with us, uh, an AGT alumni, in your recent email. Because, um, I mean, Leanne is a beautiful example of shifting from being in our masculine mode, which can be so powerful and coming into our feminine and experiencing the beauty of receiving our desires, receiving, just feel into that energy right now. Like when you tune into your body, hi Alex, hi Sarah. Um, when you tune into your own body, thank you, Leanne. So Leanne just shared an update with us. She is one of our Awakened Goddess Training 1 alumni, and I believe you joined round uh, four or five again, right? Actually, you joined, I think, three rounds, Leanne. Um, she just shared an update with us, and in addition to these beautiful miracles that she received and co-created from her Divine Feminine, she has now sold her incredible beautiful business for seven figures so congratulations and you really honored the process beloved goddess and i'm so proud of you and celebrating you and now she's it one three and five yes yeah, so three rounds like I'm, I'm just so honored leanne you're such a powerful beautiful magical goddess queen and it was such a joy to witness your journey and transformation um, in from warrior creator badass to empress sexy sensual goddess queen who receives right hi mandeep is here another beautiful alumni from the agt um and just like I'm celebrating for my beautiful Selena's here. Oh, I just love all my AGT alumni goddesses joining. Selena manifested her dream home and I believe is the first female in your home, in your family to buy your own house, right? Your own home. Um, such a beautiful, powerful leaderess, right? Leading the way. And you manifested that in our last round. You joined a previous round. And again, like she was, she manifested her home in a really crazy market here in Canada. Um, getting into her feminine and actually, I think, going to a Beyonce concert <laughs> last year. And like it just came together so magically. And this is what I'm here for. This is what I am here for all women, for all of us to come home to the beauty of our nature, of 
receiving miracles, receiving our desires, and to really break free of this millennia repeated paradigm from the hyper-masculine that we have to constantly go, 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 and do, 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 and make things happen. Like the way that we are taught to get what we want is in, in so many ways not very uh, nourishing or sensual or supportive or pleasurable for us women. Now, the funny thing is, um, like when we shift from high achieving to high receiving, I find that women in my world, we may not identify ourselves as high achieving and we actually may not realize that we are. So if you are a woman who desires to have deep love in your life, whether you're already partnered or you're desiring to call that relationship in and you want a beautiful home and you want uh, perhaps to start your own family or to be a mom or to nourish, uh, you know, the nieces, nephews you have in your life, to spend quality time, to mother in other ways, right? To nourish and nurture the causes that you care about, to create, to express your soul, to live your highest dharma, perhaps to travel the world. All these beautiful dreams. We actually are in a sense, high achieving, but, but not. <laughs> so high achieving, yes, because we want big, bold, beautiful, flourishing lives. And we want these on our terms in our way. But what we get to decide is how we create and experience and receive our desires. And it is my hope, especially through what I'll be sharing with you here is that you can decide to make the shift to go from high achieving woman into luscious receiving goddess. Does that sound good? <laughs> I feel like we're all ready for this. I've made some notes. If you see me looking off, it's just because I want to make sure I really share with you some beautiful uh, key pieces that I channel through for you. So when we are in warrioress mode, it's very powerful uh, for a lot of my own life. Actually, my, my own personal archetypal journey, why the warrior rest served me so much in, the, um, in my, my adolescence life was because as a child, I unfortunately was, um, I experienced every form of trauma. So there was, you know, I think it's okay to, um, and necessary to acknowledge when we have been a victim of certain experiences, especially when we're a child, right? So what happened was, yes, while I was a victim of every form of trauma and abuse as a child, unfortunately, um, you know, naturally and understandably with complete self-compassion now and grace, I can see how the victim patterning continued in my life, especially in my early teens and, you know, in different ways, um, I had to continue to heal it through my early mid twenties, but in the teens, the warrior goddess, she came through and helped me to fight the good fight. There were so many things that I had to fight for. Um, I'm, I'm Canadian and Pakistani background, Indian heritage. And there were many things like that. My friends my Canadian friends, you know, it was just kind of normal for them, but they were a fight for me and I had to fight to end the cycle of abuse. I had to fight for many basic rights as a woman to pursue post-secondary education, to not be forced into a marriage, uh, you know, as a, like an 18, 19 year old, um, to get a job, to make my own money, everything just that my teenage friends were getting to do or wouldn't even have to consider. These things were fights for me. And it really deeply served me because it was scary at times to face uh, my father or my religion or community and authority of extended family, and the pressures. But I'm so grateful for the warrioress who gave me the courage and the power to take a stand for things that I deeply needed to fight for, for myself. What happened, however, was 
as kind of a combination of being in hypervigilance, of feeling, um, you know, having a lot of like fear stem from childhood experiences, a trauma response. I continue to be in warrior mode then. And so then in my mid twenties, when I wanted to get a job or, um, you know, get a good place to rent, everything just always felt like a fight. Like I'm ready to persevere. And I would always tap into my fortitude, my resilience and ultimately persevere and triumph. But then the next battle was there. So, Dreams didn't feel so much like dreams. They felt like um, things I had to really work for, earn, prove myself to achieve and accomplish. And by the time sometimes I would get there, I would be really exhausted and burnt out. What shifted for me, thankfully, was deciding that I want to stop being in this hyperactive, really kind of more masculine warrior goddess mode. And I want to stop fighting and I want to stop just always being in that warrioress energy. And I want to soften and get still and actually come into divine partnership with God goddess, with the universe that I can do my part from inspiration, from desire, from pleasure, from joy, from expansion, and then receive, then soften and let go and let goddess. What I learned, what was so beautiful and magical in this shift for me was one of my life mantras now is when you take one step towards God, Goddess, Spirit, the universe, they take a thousand towards you. It has completely shifted my relationship with manifestation, with co-creation, with the divine, with my dreams. And it, there's such a beautiful softening now. So the detachment, um, Sophia is asking, it comes from trust that it's not just that I'm supported in everything I desire and dream but in fact these dreams and desires that I have that you have for greater and deeper love and abundance and success and dharma and impact and beauty and travel and freedom and whatever it is um, that God goddess want these for you your soul your higher self your inner goddess they are the ones awakening these dreams within you in the first place because the fulfillment of your greatest dreams is the expression of the divine through you. And you are so supported in their manifestation into form. It is not your responsibility to take care of every detail to obsess over the how and the when and the where and to just always constantly be the one making it happen. You get to relax into this beautiful co-creative relationship with the divine and be in such softening. So let me make sure I'm capturing. I'm, I'm happy, by the way, to answer any questions. Let me just see. Someone else shared something. I'm struggling from child abuse and want to open myself to a highest divine masculine king, but I finished my manifest soulmate. Okay, so you, you haven't manifested yet, but you don't know what the blockage is. And that's the other thing is you don't have to, we don't have to figure it all out, even when it comes to what is my blockage. Like, you're a divine king. In my case, when I when I led the first round of the Awakened Goddess training, uh, I was in the space, actually in a seven year long journey at, by that point of fertility journey of wanting to receive my beautiful miracle baby. And what again, I have learned is your dream divine king, your 
baby, your soulmate clients, your dream home, you are already one with them. You are already one with them. And I know now that when we shift into the embodiment of ourselves in our wholeness, from warrioress or achieveress, or the one who has to do and persevere and triumph, or even sometimes get stuck in a healing loop, like what, what is my next continuous self-work, and shift into really coming home to yourself as a goddess who not only has it all, but is all divine love embodied, abundance embodied. This is the actual path. So instead of moving from the outward, like what else do I need to do? It's a shift into, I'm going to soften and come home into who I am. As whole, flourishing goddess, that's why my, you know, my temple is called Flourishing Goddess. Sarahi, hello, beautiful Sarahi. I'm so happy to see you here. We were in Bali together. <gasps> it's such a magical time. And sweet over there too. So beautiful to see you here. So the challenge when we are in constant warrior mode is that we feel like we are the ones trying to make everything happen. We are the ones that are fully self-reliant and we disconnect from our partnership and our union with the divine and then all the magical and miraculous ways that your divine king, your soulmate baby, clients, dreams, home have already chosen you and are making their way to you and are one with you and want you as much as you want them. Even on this live right now, uh, my mom, my mama in laws here and she's like trying so hard to get Cyrus to be happy at the park because he is mama's boy. And <laughs> so uh, that's why I have created my business in a way where I get to be devoted mama and come and, you know, be with my women and be of the highest service, but everything on my terms. And it's just been so beautiful that all those years that I wanted my soulmate baby, he comes and he's so obsessed with mama. <laughs> As your king, your soulmate will be uh, obsessed with you and cherishing you and adoring you and your home that's meant to be only your home and your dharma and your, your soul tribe, whether it's your colleagues, your clients, like all these different realms of our dreams all the different relationships that we have, how much money wants you. Like you are so wanted by everything that you dream of. So as an example with my fertility journey, there's this term called IVF warrior. And I did eventually have my baby Cyrus through a miraculous IVF journey. I'd gone through it one round before that. Um, and it just took years to get to that process. I tried everything first, Naturally, for like three or four years, we were only doing natural things, you know, spiritual, natural, and holistic, and alternative, and all of that. And then it took a while for me to um, go the medical route. And eventually, I embraced the term IVF warrior. And that, again, was such a active energy. It was exhausting. When I embarked on leading the Awakened Goddess training, my beautiful 13 initiation journey, which is the return to yourself as multi-dimensional goddess of 10,000 names, as empress embodied, I decided I'm going to become a mother on my terms. And I just released all the things I was doing that didn't bring me joy. I didn't like acupuncture. Um, so I got massages instead. I stopped eating all kinds of things and I just started eating the things that I enjoyed. I stopped, you know, drinking certain things and then I was taking all these supplements and I just, except for following the like really specific customized medical IVF protocol, um, everything else I did on my terms and even that protocol I did with pleasure and joy. 
even when my beloved husband would give me the progesterone injections. I had to take two in each bum cheek a day. He would like have a heating pad, light a candle. He would do this with me and for me. We'd have mantras playing. And then he'd give me a gourmet chocolate afterwards. And speaking of my husband adoring me with gourmet chocolates, I'm going to have some Balinese gourmet chocolate he gave me here. He bought the beautiful roses for our life, as he always does. Um, you know, and it's just like, there's so much magic and love and beauty that we get to claim for how we have our desires come through. Now, when I had Cyrus on my terms, from beauty and pleasure and power, it was again this real, Cyrus is my baby's name, my miracle baby's name, Aditi, hello beautiful Aditi. Aditi also joined uh, AGT, she's one of my OG clients, who manifested and married her divine husband. And then, uh, this is in your testimonial, so I'll share it, but she joined, she's alumni in round one, manifested like her dream home and a promotion, I believe, in round one. And then when you joined, I think, Aditi, was it round three? Uh, to get pregnant after a little bit of, you know, a fertility journey yourself. I think you said it was the day that you made your payment. Um, either like you took your pregnancy test or some you got pregnant, right? Or you got pregnant. <laughs> yes! And then when you were uh, having your baby, I think in labor, you got the message that you got a promotion. <laughs> and this, this is what I mean. Uh, Diti is a highly intelligent, um, badass queen, you know, and really good in your beautiful masculine mode. Like your background is Indian Hindu, already was connected to the goddesses and the gods, um, you know, but like, I believe you're in, your job is in technology, right? Like your career. And so you're really good in that focused, disciplined, warrior, get shit done mode. And I'm so grateful too that you get to experience the magic of the thee and our queens of letting the magic and the miracles unfold and letting ourselves receive miracles, right? And now we get pictures and updates of baby's birthday and you're like your whole family with your dogs. <laughs> it's so cute in your dream home. And this is what I want. And I'm here to share that Trust me, if I can shift from victim to warrior to goddess empress, this is possible for all of us. Ah, oh, I'm so grateful for you and so blessed to have you as one of my beautiful soul sister clients. And, you know, just continuous miracles and celebrations. <laughs> it's so much love. Um, and so here's the thing, here's why I'm so passionate about helping women, reminding you that you have the power and the right to give yourself permission to shift from warrior rest, from achieving into receiving empress. I don't want you to accept a life or a way of life where you meet constant frustration, or you feel drained in the process of creating your dreams, right? Where you feel like you're giving away your power or you're just like in um, doing mode, right? And it's like a really single, like you, action, active focus, where, where you ever feel that you have to prove or earn. We have so much of this good girl, like reward, programming in us that we have to earn our good. We have to prove ourselves. Sometimes even with spiritual work, it can feel like only once I do this 40 day mantra or meditate every day for, you know, like this or visualize in this way or do 10,000 affirmations a day, then I will get my miracle. In fact, I remember one of the last um, spiritual readings I had with another expert. This was a Devi in India, like a really famous high priestess uh, Devi in India who has a huge ashram and someone connected me to her. And she said to me, if I didn't take off my diamonds, 
uh, rearrange my entire house, do all these really specific mantras and pujas at the Hindu temple. And like, really, it was this uh, become 100% vegan. Just do like, at least it was 20 things that were really specific and really in depth that she said to me, she could guarantee that I will never become pregnant. And that was like the epitome of the being face to face with my own belief that I have to struggle or suffer and prove myself to earn my good. And I'd had my fuck this shit moment. And this is where I love the warrior energy because the warrior is also a badass and she can say fuck this shit. And what I have done is I've embraced the part of the warrior goddess that serves my highest good. So like as an example, there's so many goddesses I can reference here, but if we take Sekhmet, Sekhmet's sacred mantra from our ancient text is, I will what I will. I now embody the will of the warrioress but I do not have to be in her constant battle mode. I have learned that so long as I embody her decisiveness, like when women join, like when Aditi joins, when Selena, when all these women join the Awaken Goddess training, which is a higher level investment of working with me because it is the deepest work, the deepest level of support with me. It is life-changing in every way. But the women that join, they make power moves. They are decisive and they decide I am worthy of this investment and this level of receivership and support and immersing myself in this six month journey where I'm going to be saturated with all this divine feminine beauty and support and blessings and alchemy and magic and sisterhood and mentorship and be nourished in mind, body, heart, and soul so continuously and deeply. I love this queen level energy that women rise into when they join me on a journey like the Awakened Goddess. Well, that's the only journey I have like that. <laughs> it's the most powerful one. And they embody the will. I will what I will. When that single pointed, decisive will meets Hathor, the goddess, your pleasure, your desire, your joy, your rest, your orgasmicness, your ecstasy, your beauty, Everything unleashes from within you. So I'm going, oh, thank you, Selena. Selena is saying 82 is truly life-changing. So grateful to have been on this journey. I'm so grateful for you, beloved. I love you so, so much. My beautiful Canadian ADT goddess. <laughs> she lives in beautiful Vancouver in her beautiful home. Um... And that's the thing too, like we just fall in love <laughs> and then we met and you got to meet Cyrus and I was pregnant with you, right? I think it was in round two, not with you, I was pregnant with Cyrus, I believe, when you joined uh, the, your first round, which was my second round leading it. So um, I also feel and I know that us soul sisters that come together and this is the other part of the Empress, so the warrioress goes and fights her battles and the empress loves to be in community in sisterhood in sharing and flourishing and i'm so grateful that our agt vortex is one of such amplified magic and power and sisterhood and love so i want to ask this question of those of you who are live with me just so that we can get really clear and i can support you here is where are you in warrior mode in your life? Where are you? Where do you feel like you are in the mode of um, really trying to get something you want, 
even if it's a beautiful goddessy desire, maybe it's your soulmate or, you know, your dream job or a baby or traveling the world or more abundance. Where do you feel right now that you are in that high achiever mode, right, of what's next? Where do you feel maybe you're in that energy of trying to make something happen, meeting some frustration maybe? I'm smiling because Alina's saying you have such a beautiful family. I'm so happy. Yeah, at, in our Bali retreat, you, you know, uh, my goddess is there that got to meet Cyrus and Eric and my mother's helper over there. And it was so beautiful, like that my world's merged, my sisterhood and my family. And it was just magic. <laughs> okay, so I want to read um, some of your some of the struggles, some of the places where you find you are in that mode of just coming across the struggle, experiencing a delay or frustration, being, or even feeling the need to be in warrior mode, where like, you have to be the one, you have to persevere, you have to make it happen, you have to keep going. So let's see, it's trying to attract money at work with more abundance, family chaos, finding my life partner. Yes, these are all very, um, you know, normal parts of our lives that we get to decide to shift. Not just in receiving what we want in these areas, but how we want immigration issues, um, yeah, and trying to attract stability, right? Yeah. And that's such a, you know, we, we all have a deep need to have complete stability, uh, you know, family harmony, abundance, joy in our work, success. Okay, well, thank you for sharing this. I'm, I'm going to lead a meditation for us at the end where we're going to help you experience a shift with me. So just get clear right now, even if you're joining a little later, on where do you feel that you are in that warrior mode where you just have to keep going and finding, you know, the fortitude and the perseverance and of the warrior goddess within you. And the warrior is a goddess and it is very powerful and it can really serve us. But like I said, we don't want to constantly be in warrior mode either because then, then we can get really just drained and suck our shakti, our joy, and actually just uh, delay things and frustrate things. Money making related to my new business. Sometimes I don't feel worthy of success. Uh, beloved, that is such a huge realization. Like I honestly congratulate you for even making that connection and the worthiness piece is so powerful in all my work since 2012 I've been you know a woman's coach in my for me personally and the women that I serve we all always do worthiness healing and embodiment of our divine goddess level self-worth and value some things that i have cleared um, on my journey are worthiness of course but also a fear of success like what would happen if you become wildly successful a fertility block for me was um that i can't have it all this came from karmic other lifetimes where i know i've been a a celibate or taken vows of self-denial or celibacy in different spiritual uh, service roles. And so that was a karmic pattern that I uncovered in the first round of the AGT um, that I had to clear. Another one was that it's not safe for me to have it all from experiences of punishment and persecution and abandonment, rejection, exile from other lifetimes, you know, judgments and, and other experiences from this lifetimes and trauma. So deep healing around it is safe for me to be and have it all. I'm worthy of being and having all I desire. 
And then even shifting into it is sacred and beautiful for me to be and have all I desire with ease, from pleasure, from joy, from rest. Meeting my king is taking too long. Yes, it like he is already waiting. So <laughs> we want to let him come to you. Right. Getting rid of a toxic partnership. OK, thank you so much for sharing uh, these vulnerable and honest um, acknowledgments of where the struggle is. Um, and like it happens in so many places, even as an example right now, like I, I mentioned my business and how I've created it. But I know like in the female coaching world, there's so much pressure on how we have to show up, how many offers to sell every day, like sell 10 things. And um, I just learned through a mastermind I'm in that <laughs> Instagram, like will only really push out your content if you're posting to threads five times a day. And it's just, it's, it can be so exhausting. I have decided to create my success on my terms, where I have the location, the time, the financial, the creative freedom. We just spent three months in Bali. Last year, we wintered away in Mayan Riviera. Uh, you know, I get to work the hours that I desire, a few hours a week, yeah, always the mornings until about 1 p.m. because I put Cyrus to sleep or with me and Cyrus alone. And then usually my work days are Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Um, today, Wednesday, because my mama-in-law who helps me take care of Cyrus, uh, this week she's coming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because of like a schedule change with her. So, you know, there's flexibility and flow, but I've created, I've decided that I will not be a burnt out successful female coach, but I will be a lush, nourished, pleasured, joyful, highly successful business, divine feminine business queen, high priestess, leaderess, empress, and a deeply nourished mama, uh, adored, I am I'm blessed to be a very adored wife of my beloved, still having epic lovemaking and self-care spa days every Friday usually, so weekly if not more. Um, like just, we do truly get to be and have it all. Yes, Aditi, you can have it all. <laughs> That's our mantra. <laughs> from my AGT goddesses. I know that you are here not only to have everything you desire, but to have it on your terms. And the struggle or the frustration that you are experiencing, what if that was an initiation for you to completely shift everything and receive it in the most beautiful, sensual, magical, miraculous way? What if you are the one? One pattern I have observed and celebrated is the woman that I get to work with in the closest proximity container, my Awakened Goddess training journey, um, and the rare occasion I do one-on-one, -on -one, is you are leaderesses and liberators of your lines, not just for yourself and your family. So I truly believe if you were in my world, and especially if you come deeper with me, you are the one who's going to lead the way that you get to be and have it all on your terms. And so the greatest shift from warrior rest to empress is this, where the warrior rest she wills and then if she chooses, she can go forth and battle and persevere and triumph. What the Empress does is her will is unleashed from within her. She actually just stays seated on her luscious, abundant, flourishing queen goddess throne. The Empress she 
is the embodiment of the fulfillment of all your desires. So if you want your divine king or the next level of money, or success, whatever it is, the empress is the essence, the embodiment, and thus the channel and the natural joyful creatress of abundance and love and beauty and radiance and success expressed from within her. She does not do, she does not make anything happen. She never struggles or strives and so, you know, meets frustration or feels depleted or burnt out or drained. But she unleashes. She, she is so one with all of her desires already being embodied from within her, that she, her energy, her mind, body, heart, and soul are the vessel for them to be unleashed from within her. I would love for you to feel in your body the shift from the achieving warrioress to the receiving empress to receiving because the abundance, the love, the beauty, the radiance, the success that you are, as you take your throne in it, it has no choice but to meet you in physical form and that divine baby, soulmate, home, immigration, opportunity, success, money, it flows to you. It flows to you as natural reflection of who you are, of how you've embodied the essence of abundance and love and, and radiance and beauty and fulfillment as Empress Goddess, right? So one is... Um, outward centered and she is making it happen from the outside into her life that's the warrior energy and then the empress is inside out she the other thing about the empress is she has taken her throne because she has embodied the full spectrum of her many goddess archetypal energies. So as an example, she has the desires of the maiden, the desire, like the maiden is full permission to want what you want. We say in my world, we are here for your financial sovereignty, your sexual sovereignty, your spiritual radiance and fulfillment, your soul expression, your highest dharma. We want you to want everything in abundance and overflow. And the Empress has embodied herself as the unapologetic maiden who wants what she wants, who gives herself full permission to want the best of everything for herself. Aren't they? Hello, beautiful goddess and other AGT alumni queen. See, Arthi joined and she's again shared this in her testimonial that um, she had, we'd had a couple of one-on-one -on -one sessions over the years, right? And you, you wanted to um, release an entanglement with like a toxic soulmate partnership. That was like kind of the goal. And of course, as I said in the ATT, when you finally joined that whole journey was like, I'm not just available for you to release this pattern. I'm here for you to manifest your divine soulmate and marry your husband. And then you did. I miss you so much. I love you so, so much. Um, so like, I remember we had one ATT call, remember Arti, And you 
something came up around your work, the job that you were in, and, and suddenly things were changing there and it was no longer honoring to you because your company got, I think, bought by another company and the new people came in and they weren't treating you so well. And we were like, we cleared that energy up in that integration call. And our calls are so magical and powerful. that <laughs> I believe Arthur, you said, as soon as that call finished, you'd already had an offer from another job where you moved to a different city. Not only did you get it, but you got a promotion or a raise. And then in the new city, another AGT sister hooked you up with one of her girlfriends. And so you had like a friend as soon as you got there, lovely roommates. Um, and then I think it was by the end of that, you manifested your husband and then got married a year after graduation. So like just Arthi's testimonial and gorgeous picture is, you know, um, you can find it on the Awakened Goddess training page but like it's just so magical what can happen when we embody ourselves as empress yes very grateful for everything we're so grateful for you and celebrating you beautiful arti and all your miracles and manifestations and every part of your life so as empress it's truly a coming home she does embody the will of the warrioress, but she doesn't do all the strenuous effort. <laughs> she doesn't need to of the warrioress to get what she wants. She receives what she wants. She knows she can shift into different modes as the high priestess to channel, to be magical, to be one with the divine, right? She has the Empress by the time as a woman you embody your Empress self, what I have found it takes. And, and here's the thing too, like so in ancient goddess wisdom traditions, it's actually the crone who is crowned into her queen level power of living her life fully on her terms. And that traditionally is the older woman or like the menopausal, postmenopausal. it's our later age. We really earn that wisdom, right? From lived life experience. I don't want it to take that long to be a queen, <laughs> to be crowned as crone or queen goddess. I don't want you to wait years. This is why I love that when we enter a devotional path, this is why women would enter, young maidens would enter the goddess mystery school traditions and be rebirthed and be unrecognizable on the other side. In fact, it was said that when a woman enters the goddess mystery school, she dies. And it is true in a spiritual metaphorical sense is that you were so rebirthed in this accelerated amplified rebirth journey that who comes out on the other side, the women that join and come out on the other side of the ADT, including myself, are no longer the same. I entered as IVF warrioress and I arose on graduation day of round one of the Awakened Goddess Training Mystery School. Our call celebration was Earth Day and the day before that I was impregnated with my miracle son with baths and some champagne and rose petals and all this divine feminine beauty and pleasure on my terms. And it took like the, the 13th initiation of my journey of a woman's journey, right? Like the culmination is to sit on your throne, to take your throne and then you there's a relaxedness about it. You can relax into your sovereignty. You relax into your embodiment of all good, of all beauty and abundance and blessings. And not only for yourself, but for everyone you love and for the world. So the 
empress, she doesn't just wake up one day. We don't just go from, uh, you know, desire filled maiden or, you know, a powerful warrior to turning the switch and, and being an empress one day. The empress, she has committed to the devotional path of embodying as a woman, your full spectrum, divine, feminine, archetypal powers and gifts. And so that's why you get to relax and sit on your throne and enjoy and have your dreams unleashed through you miraculously and receive everything you desire instead of having to achieve everything. So how does that feel in your body? Right, to feel yourself, envision yourself as an empress who's radiating in what we call with goddess luxury, who's is luxury, radiating in golden, regal, holy luster, irresistible to love, money, beauty, dream opportunities, your dream home, your dream soulmate, and they flow to you magically. And you can fully receive them because you're embodied in your divine feminine self-love, self-worth, self-value, magnetism, radiance, joy, wisdom, magic, intuition. The Empress, goddess, she sits on that regal throne, radiating her maiden yoni desires. Yoni, your sacral chakra, your, your yoni. She radiates her heart dreams as creatress. She can relish, imagine relishing your dreams into being. Not working for them, not earning them, not making them happen, but what would shift for you if you relished your dreams into being? Eric, as an example, um, this is an energy that was really uh, beautiful and powerful for me to embody in manifesting my soulmate. We're now married. This year we're celebrating 13 years married and 16 together, I believe. <laughs> and it's been like, I, I cannot believe that I fall more deeply in love with him because every day I'm like, I can't love this man more. And then I just fall more in love with him because of how he is with me as a beloved husband and partner, but also because of the kind of father he is to Cyrus. And it's just beyond magical and he came for me <laughs> like he pursued me for nine months he liked me on new year's day uh the year that we got together and then it was september 17th that we went on our first date i made that man work <laughs> but in that time i was actually focused on some self-healing and embodiment of myself as queen. And we really came together at the most divine time when we were both ready. Um, and, and right from the get-go, we created this foundation of divine love and union. So what would shift for you if you stayed seated on your throne and no longer had to be the warrioress who goes about getting what you want, but allow yourself to be the empress. To create your queendom, every part of it, your love life, your family life, your food, your self-care, your home, your environment, your money, your wealth, everything the way that you desire and above and beyond you desire and it happens for you from ease, from pleasure, from joy, 
from magic, from intuition, from inspiration, instead of hustle or striving or efforting or trying or battling or persevering. The shift from achieving what you want to receiving everything you could hope for and more. How would that feel? So if you're here with me live, let me know how that energy shift feels before I lead you into a little guided meditation for you to taste this lusciousness. <laughs> the just like a mini experience of your own Empress Goddess self. How does that feel as you soften into receiving? Ah, right? Receiving. Leanne, one thing I celebrated so much for you and I loved for you in, I believe, our first AGT round was you are such a powerful, gifted businesswoman and specifically in uh, like your profession, you know, and what you do. I remember you said you had clients where even if you said, no, I'm not available, they, they would like rather pay more and, and get their session done with you uh, in your expertise. And I remember when you learned in the initiation of the AGT of the triple goddess training, that initiation we go through creating our feminine life in oneness with our body specifically our feminine cycles our cyclical nature whatever our age whatever the status of our hormones and all of that but like the cycles of the moon of the earth of your own body and i remember leanne like you shifted from taking your bleed day off and that was such an epiphany to you like it was so radical that i can take a day off in my business and then what was the miracle that happened <laughs> I think from if I recall correctly, Leanne, you shared that when you took time off and aligned your uh, business to your cycle and your body's needs for when you want to rest and worked less, I believe you said that's when you had your first 100K month and then you stabilize consistent 100K plus months working less. I just remember feeling so happy for you because I know and live this magic. I've taken my bleed days off like for years um, and I know this magic and this is what's so beautiful goddesses is it requires so much trust in this world that we live in to live a feminine life, to live a life that's centered in bodies, not just needs because we are very cyclical beings, but our body's desires for rest, for pleasure, for self-care. And honestly, it's quite audacious. Yes, learning to trust that the abundance was there for me regardless of my hard work became effortless and divine. Yes. And like honestly, for me, that was such a beautiful celebration for you. I was of course happy for the result, like stabilizing 100K months is epic, but more than that, I celebrated your how. Like you decided, hey, I get to trust that I get to work less and rest more and receive more. And that's one of my mantras too that came through was the more I rest, the more I receive. We have another goddess from ADT2 who manifested all these miracles and her mantra became uh, through the ADT, I now manifest through rest. We are going to have a beautiful, magical goddess activation, well, not activation, like just a mini but powerful uh, experience where I'm going to lead you through shifting from warrior mode into Empress goddess mode. Okay, so welcome, welcome. Hello, welcome back. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Selena. Hi, Mandeep. Hi, beautiful goddesses. So happy to have you. <laughs> okay, so just to ground everything back, 
we want to shift from warrior mode of going, of achieving, of making stuff happen, of constantly having to be, you know, in our resilience and fortitude and focus and um, just go, go, go into beautiful divine feminine empress mode to receiving, to relishing, to unleashing our desires into being from our feminine. Like I was just sharing in the live before, Leanne, I, I hope you'll rejoin us. Hi, Andy. Hello, everybody. Um, it takes such audacity as women to say that not only am I going to be a woman in this world who lives a life of overflowing love and success and abundance and beauty, but that I am going to do it on my terms. So like Leanne is celebrating, um, just selling your beautiful business for over seven figures, right? And then you shared that you are now relishing. And I, I hope that that's something you took away from the AGT, like you're pausing. I feel like old Leanne would have just gone to the next thing, right? Like you are such a powerhouse and that's so beautiful too but when um clarice was sharing the update and, and we were celebrating you we were like yes leanne you have chosen to enjoy yourself now to enjoy the fruits to open and get ready for your divine beloved right like the celebration, the relishing, the time just to nourish and replenish is so, so beautiful. And it's audacious. It's audacious. It's courageous to say that I will be a woman in this world who says yes to my desires and who will receive them, create them, and relish them. Because we can get everything we want. In fact, we know so many people, like you can just look to celebrities, right, who are rich and famous and they have it all, but they struggle with depression and drug addictions and like, that doesn't equate fulfillment, enjoyment of our blessings, happiness, contentment, nourishment from the inside. And what is so beautiful of coming into Empress mode is we're not leading from lack. And we're not looking for anything that we're going to achieve to fill us, to fulfill us, to uh, validate us, to make us feel worthy enough, to make us feel validated, to make us feel like we belong, to make us feel like we're good enough, to make us feel happy even. As Empress, we prioritize in whatever it is that we are co-creating and receiving that before it even comes and in between. Because the truth is, ladies, we're always living in a sense in the meantime. Once you get your one desire, we are desire-based creatures. <laughs> the desire for the next thing is already there. Right? Leanne's like now ready for her divine beloved. I'm just saying her name because it's right here in front of me, Leanne. Um, I mean, she just sold her business for seven figures and that was a dream manifestation. We planted those seeds together in our last AGT round and here they are. So you're saying and you're enjoying long walks and dancing by the dance studio in the basement of the home. You manifested in round three. Oh, I remember that was so beautiful. And yeah, like... We get to enjoy and relish. And why I want every woman to take the time to devote yourself to whatever path you are called to. Like as a little snippet, my book, Goddess Reclaimed, can really support you with this. Whatever will support you in living as Empress becoming your empress self, living as empress self, so that you can truly live a life of 
relishment and nourishment and fulfillment from the inside out, that is who the Empress is. She's usually robed in roses and everything around the Empress is lush and flourishing. And it is a reflection of her inner state of abundance and embodied beauty, self-love and radiance and pleasure. So let's shift you into this. I'm going to take you on a beautiful, gorgeous journey. And I'm going to anoint you with a couple of magical oils. All right. So I have here my oils from Egypt, very magical. The first one is your goddess, warrior goddess Sekhmet oil, because we want to honor the will of the warrioress. Uh, also releasing being in constant warrior mode. Okay, so we're honoring. I just want you to trust in this um, activation. And you're going to now receive this in your belly. Feel your belly light up like a radiant sun, like a golden lioness, warrioress, goddess. Powerful. Sekhmet is known as the mighty one. You are mighty. Breathe into your belly, your strength and your power and be so grateful for how powerful you are. For your will, your fortitude, your perseverance, your resilience, your focus, your diligence. It's so beautiful to have this. If it's safe for you, just close your eyes and be thankful for this Shakti, this divine feminine power that you embody of the warrioress. We honor it. We love it. Mighty and powerful. And with your eyes closed and your hands on your belly, feel now where there have, there's been a bit of an imbalance here, maybe a little overactive with that willful energy, making things happen, needing to just try effort, struggle, the frustration that you may have felt, the delays, the obstacles, the struggles, where you feel that you just have to keep trying, keep going, keep doing, one day after the other, one thing after the other, and give yourself permission to feel any exhaustion around that, any ways that you feel depleted or drained, and just gently begin to massage your belly, your adrenals, just under your ribs, gentle massages. And take deep belly breaths. Relax into your belly. And ask yourself, am I ready and willing to let go of this mode? If there's any resistance that comes up, honor that. Perhaps there's a fear. Perhaps this way feels safer. Perhaps it protected you for a while. Perhaps it served you. And that's beautiful. But now, honing, harnessing the power, the very will of your warrior as God itself. Decide. To shift your way. Decide that I will have what I want 
from ease, from magic, from radiance, from bliss, from pleasure, from joy, from inspiration, from my divine feminine, beautiful, luscious receptivity. And it is safe for me to have and to be all I desire with ease. I now release any patterns of giving away my power, of feeling that I am the one who has to make things happen, that I have to persevere, that I have to figure it all out, that I am the one who has to keep going. I release any ways in which I haven't lived in full trust and I have made any part of my life harder than it needs to be. Any part of my life that is not going the way that I desire it to be, I give myself full permission now to soften and to decide how it gets to be for me. It gets to be easeful, restful, abundant, miraculous, fulfilling, joyful. And deciding this, affirming, I will what I will as warrior goddess. Keeping your eyes closed, now going to anoint you with gorgeous goddess Hathra oil, the maiden, the goddess of pleasure and joy and beauty and love and sensuality down into your sacral, placing your hands on your sacral chakra, your womb, and also going to place them onto your heart center. Bringing your hands to your heart and womb. Connecting to yourself. <sighs> Softening into your Empress Goddess Self, into your beautiful Divine Feminine Essence. And the Empress who has embodied herself as all the goddesses, who has become a goddess of 10,000 names, and just one of these goddesses within you now is it the maiden goddess, Hathor, Hetharu. You ask your yoni in your heart, not just what do I want instead, but how do I want it? I want my divine king from ease with speed. I want him to come to me while I am in relishing and just falling deeper and deeper in love with myself and my life and living my best life. I want my baby, if this is what you want, I'm just saying some things that are coming through. This is what happened for me with my baby. I want my baby from joy and pleasure, from my own power, from ease in miraculous, beautiful ways. I want my abundance, overflowing, effortless, 24 seven payments and money flowing to me from multiple channels with ease. I make money in my sleep in my spa sessions, while I'm snuggling my baby, while I'm making love, it's just money and sacred payments, soulmate clients, dream opportunities flowing to me all the time. So get in touch, not just with what you want, but how you desire it. Just holding yourself here, connecting now as Empress with your 
queen level self-worth and self-value and affirming and feeling the truth of I deserve. I deserve to have everything I want the way that I want it. I deserve to have all the love and abundance and opportunities and success and family and home and freedom and fulfillment miraculously, magically, joyfully, easefully, blissfully, abundantly, overflowingly. I'm worthy of this. I deserve as queen everything I desire as maiden. I'm going to anoint you now on your crown. Your crown chakra, the goddess Isis oil, the goddess of 10,000 names herself, the queen of all, the ultimate divine empress. And just relaxing now, take any physical seat, posture, pose that you need to, to feel deeply relaxed. Your whole body soft, relaxed, trusting, and receptive. Softening, softening, softening. Your breathing is so soft. Your heart is soft, your mind, your yoni. Every cell radiating, glowing from within. You are fully and deeply relaxed and receptive. As Empress, you now feel the truth that, and here let my words be your words, your knowing, radiate them from within you. I am, I am divine abundance. I am divine love. I am divine pleasure. I am divine Money, I am divine dharma and purpose and service. I am divine leadership. I am divine success. I am divine freedom. I am divine health, fertility, creativity, radiance. I am divine union, love. I am divine power. I am divine stability and security. I am divine expansion and elevation and upliftment. I am divine rest. I am divine stillness. I am divine flourishing. I am divine beauty. I am divine radiance, magic. I am. And as I am, it unleashes from within me into magical and miraculous overflow. As the physical manifestation of more love, abundance, freedom, success, family, environment, beauty, pleasure, self-care, opportunities, and magical blessings that I could possibly hope for, envision, pray for, or dream of. And it all unfolds from within me as I simply 
embody myself as Empress Goddess and receive it all in overflow naturally, easefully, gracefully. And I relish it and share it. Blessed and blessing all as Lakshmi embodied on earth. I am the Empress Goddess of 10,000 names. So be it, and so it is. Hmm. And gently opening your eyes and letting me know how you feel. So I'm going to celebrate this with some luscious Balinese gourmet chocolate from my beloved. <laughs> how is that very mini meditation, little journey activation for you of shifting from achieving in your warrior mode to receiving in your empress goddess mode? How did that feel? Just that glimpse, the teaser, the taste of what it's actually meant to be like for you. What you actually have the power, what you are worthy, what you were born for. Experiencing, living as. Let me know how you experienced that glimpse into how easeful it gets to be, how restful, how soft, how magical, how beautiful. Oh. Feels beautiful, feels rested. I'd like to put down my shield and be more soft and receptive, yes. Let down that shield and the sword and the armor and be soft and receptive. And what is so beautiful with especially and particularly the Hathor and Sekhmet goddess share here is that they're actually one goddess. And as much as it's so beautiful to be in Empress mode, the warrior is also there to protect Hathor, our softness, when needed. We don't always have to have our armor on, right? So we get to live as Hathors and trust ourselves that if a moment shows up, we will meet it from our power. We can then let the warrior do her worst. Watch out. Don't mess with the warrior goddess. <laughs> but lionesses, like Sekhmet is a lioness warrior goddess. You know what lionesses love to do? They love to sleep and nap and cuddle <laughs> and soak up the sun. <laughs> so even the warrior goddess, even Sekma, she's, you know, all goddesses are very multidimensional. I don't get a chance to share here in these little lives um, the deeper blessings and, and how we can connect with and embody every goddess. I do this in my deeper work, like as an example, in the Awakened Goddess training. But... Sekhmet is also a healer goddess. She's a mother, she's a wife. Like we, we as women are multidimensional. Uh, Leanne, I feel so blessed and grateful to be on this journey with you, Simon, and all our sisters. Thank you, Leanne. I feel like you know, you know, with uh, how we stay in touch is that we love, we fall in love <laughs> with, with you, with all of our sisters and it's the lifelong love and sister sisterhood that we get to experience, which I'm so grateful, which is why you, you know, rejoin or update us. And um, actually what I'm also celebrating is like, you don't need to join the current round because you're like, ladies, like everything, I'm like now in nourishment and celebration mode. And so we celebrate that equally as whenever you do decide to join for your next thing. Um, so I'm just so grateful to be on this journey with you. 
Thank you, beloved. I feel enlightening. It makes me feel confident that it's not all on me to make it happen. Yes. And like I said earlier, what I now live as is when we take one step towards the divine and that step from our feminine can be as simple as our claiming our desire, our audacious desires. And ladies, I don't want you to set small, boring goals that you think you can achieve. I am only available for you for your most ridiculous, extra, crazy, audacious desires. And then I, I have felt now like <laughs> when we say that, the whole universe is like, yes, let's go. We're bringing it. We're co-creating it. We are magicking it. It's way more exciting. And the most beautiful part is what I have learned, the more I rest, the more audacious and crazy um, my desires become. And the more it's like, wow, I really get to have all of this. Like right now I've created a life where I have my so much support. People managing my lawn, the snow in the winter, while I'm away, a mother's helper. I, I actually am interviewing a, a second mother's helper as well, and she can help with meal prep in addition to things my current one helps me with. And I know these things can sound privileged, and trust me, I came from not only nothing, but financial trauma, lack, feminine women patterns of martyrdom and sacrifice and depending on men and abuse and being stuck in abusive marriages because of financial dependence. Like, so I am here for your most audacious life, for you living your boldest life in the softest way, in the most joyful, beautiful, feminine, magical way. I don't share it like that much behind the scenes because sometimes like, I don't want to be annoying, right? Because <laughs> I will have uh, family, sister, friends will usually be more honest and say, okay, like my husband's in trouble because Eric's bought your roses again for the 10th time, you know, last two weeks or whatever. Or, um, you know, how are you still nourished mother? Like I'm so frazzled and stressed and like you might see me since I've become a mother you know, still devoted to self-care and rest. And I may be in the middle of a launch and I'm at the spa, you know, and like, I'm here for us to, if it doesn't exist, what you want, it's because you're the one who's meant to create it. And not only is it safe for you to create and live and enjoy and relish every dream, everything you desire, but I know that when you do, you will become a portal of permission for the women around you. It feels so magical, soft and easeful. Yes. <laughs> and it gets to. So this is what I am here for, for you all to live as embodied empresses, living, birthing new paradigms of feminine lives, of this portal of permission, right? And like Leanne, you have a beautiful niece. It, can you imagine what you're teaching her right now? That you get to be a powerful, badass business queen and relish and have time for yourself and dance and be sensual and beautiful like when we here's here's like the biggest shift i want to wrap up with is it's kind of like when we're in warrior mode we're actually settling <laughs> we're working our asses off to manifest to make happen things that like are basic you deserve love you deserve to have a family if you want you deserve your home you deserve a successful career that's baseline for me for you like as the standard I hold for you and what I have found now is 
being audacious and extra and ridiculous and wanting like crazy level freedom, abundance, love, sex, family, fulfillment, sovereignty is actually so much easier. So the bigger, boldest dreams, you get to come to a point when you embody your Empress Self where they become more easeful than when you were in warrior mode just trying to make what I consider basic things happen. So you get to have so much more fun and so much more rest and receive so much more. This is what I'm here for for you, right? Thank you, getting ready to receive my miracles from this moment. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I hope this has served you so much. And I would love if you wish to learn about what's happening in this round of the Awakened Goddess training. So we begin on the solstice. Uh, the welcome initiation is released. I just want to take a few moments to share with you what this is about and why I would love for you to join if you are ready as Empress, as Queen, to decide. Like this is, it's not for everyone. There's an application process. This is a journey for the woman who is ready to become empress goddess and you're deciding that now is your time all my goddess queens who joined here you know mandeep and leanne like you took that leap you know whether you uh, felt ready or not it was like oh this is happening <laughs> so queen level power moves of saying yes this is a six month 13 initiatory journey of embodying yourself as full spectrum goddess of becoming the empress goddess of 10,000 names in the most supportive, magical, nourishing, beautiful, divine feminine way. You get to be in your deepest divine feminine receivership one thing I love about this portal is like I spent years working on myself, like self-work, spiritual work, therapy and all of that. And this six month journey, it transcends time. It collapses time. And we get to experience the healing, the transformation, the miracles that could otherwise take us years. Why? so many reasons one because we're doing it in the divine feminine way you're receiving all this magic support alchemy from the goddesses in every single initiation module i don't like to call it a module but let's just call it that right so you're in your receivership you get to be touched and saturated by goddesses through the teachings I'm channeling, through the gorgeous audio meditation that you can listen to literally in your sleep. Uh, you know, I remember Leanne, one time you were saying that the warrior goddess initiation was like so crazy and it was a little hard to sleep with that one. Uh, but like, it's so easeful that you get to just receive from multiple goddesses and in every initiation we're going to awaken you to all your divine feminine gifts and magic and power on all levels so first of all you'll become a goddess which is priceless and then you get to do it in sacred sisterhood i attract the most hybrids beautiful as you can probably tell already the love that um you know, I, the connection that we have with, with our sisters here, the graduates who come on. So much love and sisterhood. And when women gather, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, beloved Rose. You're so sweet. You are a goddess. We are all goddesses. I love this vortex. I, I truly believe I manifested Cyrus. I also became an investress. So Eric and I, as an example, also, for years, we were saving for a house to buy in Toronto and everything around us looked like hopeless. You know, every it's like every time you save a chunk, by the time you've saved enough for the down payment, let's say it takes six months to reach a certain financial goal, the prices would go next level crazy. And then you have to save again. And that kept happening until 
miraculously, we ended up moving to this town that we love, just outside of Toronto, with all these nature trails, and it's like a university and tech hub town. And we love it here so much. And we got to buy two houses here. Two houses! So I went from, like, are we ever going to be able to buy a house to embodying the goddess. Eric and I both manifested this. And now I am an investress. I am creating generational wealth. Cyrus basically owns a home already, right? Like our second house is already his. <laughs> and this is what I'm here for. I don't just want you to get what you want. I want you to free yourself and your previous lines of their limitation and ceiling and you be the one to create absolute freedom and flourishing continually. And this vortex, I believe, for me and my goddesses helps us do this because when women gather, our power is amplified and then I am really great. I will say this very, uh, own this, <laughs> whether it's a retreat or a women's circle, we lead the most potent, life-changing, transformational, powerful sessions every single time. Each session becomes like a vortex of amplified magic, healing, transformation, and miracles. And just practically, one of the reasons is if we're all sharing something around abundance or love, if that's the initiations, one of its like um, themes, everything each one is sharing is a part of me that I didn't even realize that also needs healing. Right? So for example, if someone, if we're in our uh, desire and body and sensuality, sexual love goddess initiation, someone might be healing Last, last round, these were the kind of things that got healed. Someone healed their relationship to food, that they had worked with doctors and therapists and nutritionists and were, he was not able to heal her relationship with food. It was very toxic and disempowering and unhealthy. And she healed that and it helped all of us heal our connection to food as nourishment and sensual. And then we healed connection with men and trusting and allowing men to ravish us and uh, our relation to feeling beautiful in a postpartum body, to feeling fertile and lush when we're on a fertility journey. Like so many things that maybe we can't relate to that sister's exact circumstance, but there's something about what she has healed, what she is desiring, what she has manifested, what she is celebrating that is also mine, that is also yours, that is also all of ours. So our healing, our manifestations become amplified. And every miracle that each sister celebrates becomes an embodied portal of lived possibility and permission for us to, right? Like there are, when we have a sister who sells her business for seven figures, a queen, it becomes permission for all women. I can be a millionaire and take my period days off and work less and delegate. You started delegating too, right, Leanne? So it becomes a portal of permission for all of us. And then finally, if you would love to work with me, the Awaken Goddess training is my favorite and deepest level of support. It is a path of every week you get support from us, whether it's like the, the release of the initiation itself and the follow-up call we have the week after and you have two whole weeks with each initiation so it is so nourishing and magical and supportive and restful and you get hit and touched and loved up and supported by the goddesses by your soul sisters and by me through this vortex of each initiation so it's the awakened goddess training there's a link for it in my bio link tree and or you can Google um, Awaken Goddess Trading. Okay, I would love for you to join right now. We have extra special pricing right now. And I've actually, I was inspired to do this bonus today. So I'm doing a three day bonus special for the queens who, I love celebrating queens who decide and go. You're my, you're my kind of woman. <laughs> 
you know, is like just says yes to your desire and moves and goes, I will what I will. Yes. So there's going to be a three day bonus special. Whoever joins the next day, the next 24 hours is going to get all three. Whoever joins tomorrow will get today's and tomorrow's. Whoever joins the last day will, will get only the last days, right? Whoever joins in the next 24 hours, the Awakening Goddess training, like you are accepted and you confirm your spot, you are going to receive as my gift a one hour, one on one personalized goddess activation mentorship, reading, channeling, magic portal session directly with me. These are only 11.11, so $1,111. So this will be my gift only for the queen to join in the next 24 hours. So excited. And then I don't know if I should announce. Okay, the, the next day's gift is going to be I have deep goddess activations on everything from abundance to empressness and each one of them is usually like 88 to 111 dollars so we have 10 now including the one I just did last week on Queen of Gold so this bundle is worth over a thousand dollars and day two's bonus will be receiving this bundle when you join the Awakened Goddess training and the day three bonus is going to be a audio recording of a five card goddess oracle reading your messages past present future on any specific desire or question that you have that's worth 444 so that will be the bonus for day three if you join on friday today's wednesday right or whatever that 24 hour period works so when you join today the awakened goddess training when you look on the page there are actually so many other bonus gifts and special pricing i don't have time to share it with you so i'm going to leave that to you the page is beautiful all the details for what is exactly in each initiation you can see you can see everything that's included and extra bonuses painful bonuses like magical bonuses but this is something i'm only doing especially for this beautiful Instagram live situation. And so it's joining in the next 24 hours, you get all three bonuses, a one hour session with me worth 1111, the goddess activation bundle of 10 in-depth goddess activations that you can just get started with while you wait before we, we begin our Awaken Goddess training on the solstice. That's worth over a thousand dollars and then you'll get the five card goddess audio oracle reading specific messages channel just for you worth 444. So that's like $2,500 worth of bonuses right away that I would love for you to get today in the next 24 hours because I love to celebrate and welcome the queen to decide it's your time. Like now is my time that I'm going to rise up and invest in myself as queen and I'm not going to spend years or I just don't want to do it on my own anymore. I want to be in sisterhood. I want to, in a way, get it all done in six months. <laughs> you know, like not get it all done like in warrior mode, but like I want to just stop, you know, trying on my own. Like so many of my queens here, right? Arti uh it was like trying for years just to get over this one x and in my vortex within six months she not only released this karmic partner and entanglement she manifested her husband and got married right so let's stop wasting years of your life and your life force and your shakti let's come into this gorgeous beautiful divine feminine vortex that you will give to yourself as the queen that you are, join fellow queens to be nourished and supported and celebrated and witnessed and welcomed and honored and nurtured, magic where we were magic together and all of us receive all of our dreams as Empress Queens. So be it and so it is. 
if you're already deciding you're joining, you can tell me now because we will celebrate you. And by the way, we always like to give surprise bonuses as well. So get all the details at, if you're on my Instagram page, uh, go to the bio link and you'll see Awaken Goddess Training. All the details are, are there. Apply so we can get in your application, review it, welcome you, confirm your spot celebrate you and begin to shower you with all these beautiful gifts right away. This is going to be such a magical, nourishing, powerful, life-changing round that it is time for you to experience, to gift yourself as the goddess queen that you are. This is where you come as a woman and you rise as goddess queen and you will not recognize yourself or your life. Oh yeah, dancing. I've done three rounds because it is so magical and so worth it. Being in this vortex is so tangibly healing, supportive and propelling. Thank you so much, beloved. You know, I loved what you called it in your email. I think you called it a boundless vortex. You use the word boundless to describe it, and it just filled my heart. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. And Clarice, like I want to take a moment to celebrate. Clarice is my right hand. She's always in our calls. Clarice is, I don't think you have, right, Clarice, to correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think Clarice has actually watched the initiations of this training, but she's always in our integration calls. And yes, boundless, Leanne. Yay! Um, Clarice has manifested her and created her dream successful thriving business. She manifested a custom gorgeous house. She has a freaking like projector movie room, uh, like bought her cars. She's just got her baby kitten and has her fur babies. She is, she takes her family on vacation. We went on our Bali team retreat together. Clarice. Without even uh, Aditi, I don't know if you're still here, Aditi, but like uh, when she joined the second round where she got pregnant as soon as she made her payment after trying on her own and going through a bit of a fertility journey herself, I remember she, she was busy and she didn't have time to keep up with the initiations. She would just show up with a call and sometimes she couldn't come with the calls. But when she would update us, her miracles would happen. And her whole mantra was that just being in the vortex, in the energy of the Awakened Goddess training in itself works miracles. And I believe it. <laughs> it is, as Leanne has said, so sweetly and beautifully boundless. So I would love to embark on a much deeper journey with you um, in Sacred Sisterhood. Like this is fun where I get to teach you, but there's nothing in the world like Sisterhood. So I hope that this channeling this from warrioress to empress activation has inspired you and for those of you ready to go to the next level to become to actually go on the journey to become empress goddess queens and to live your audacious lives in the most easeful flourishing beautiful magical feminine way we're ready for you so thank you so much for joining me. It's been such a pleasure and joy to connect with you. And I can't wait to see those of you who are coming in to our Awaken Goddess training round. If you have any questions at all, DM or email us at team at flourishinggoddess.com. I love you and I see you shifting from warrioress into empress to be and have all you desire the way that you deserve. So be it. And so it is. Thank you, queens. Bye-bye.